So let's suppose that a box of mass 20 kilograms rests on a horizontal surface. Now a rope is tied to that box and runs vertically upward over a pulley and a weight is attached to the other end of our rope. Now, we want to determine the normal force that the table, our horizontal surface, exerts on our box if the weight is 2 kilograms and the weight is 10 kilograms. So we have A and part B. Now, we're making the assumption that our rope is massless and flexible and our pulley has no friction. That means we can make the assumption that our force throughout our rope remains undiminished. Uh, the force along any point in the rope is exactly the same. It's constant. So, in part A, we're making the assumption that the weight of our object uh, tied to the other end of our rope is 2 kilograms. So, let's draw our force diagrams, our free body diagrams, for both of these objects. So, for this object, we have the force of gravity pulling downward and the force of the rope pulling upward. At the same time, we also have the force due to our table, the normal force that is not drawn, that also points upward. So we have two forces pointing upward and one force pointing downward. So what about our second object? Well, the second object has two forces along our vertical line, along our y-axis. One force is the force due to gravity pulling down on an object, and the second force is the force due to our tension in the rope. Now, these two forces, the tension in the rope, are exactly the same because we made the assumption that our force remains undiminished along any point in the rope. So, we have two free body diagrams, so we have two different equations. So let's solve for all the forces, let's sum up all the forces along the y-axis for our weight. So we have the sum of all the forces along the y-axis for the weight is equal to, let's choose going up to be positive, going down to be negative. So the tension in the rope minus the force of gravity equals zero. Our objects are not moving. So we rearrange and we see that the tension in the rope is equal to the force of gravity that's pulling on our weight, on our object attached to the other end. So we plug in our value for mass and for our g, we get 2 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared gives us 19.6 newtons. So our tension in the rope is 19.6 newtons. So now we go to our first free body diagram. Now let's sum up all the forces acting along the y-axis for our object, our box, that has a mass of 20 kilograms. Well, two forces are acting upward. The normal force that the table exerts on our object and the force of tension. So force of tension plus normal force minus, so we choose up to be positive, and downward to be negative. So minus the force of gravity that gravity exerts on this object pulling downward. So we rearrange and we solve for the normal force and we find that the normal force is equal to our force that gravity exerts on that object minus the force that our tension, our rope exerts on our object. So we have force of gravity minus force of tension equals so we have 20 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second minus 19.6 found in this part. And we find that our normal force that the table exerts on our object is 70 or 176.4 newtons. So approximately 176 newtons. What about in part B if we change this weight to a weight of 10 kilograms, so the mass of this object is now not 2 kilograms, but 10 kilograms. So once again, the same exact story, we have to set up two free body diagrams and two sets of equations. So first we sum up all the forces acting along the y-axis for our weight, that is now 10 kilograms, we get the same exact equation. So force tension is equal to force of gravity on our weight hanging down, 
and we find that now our force is no longer 19.6 newtons, but 10 times 9.8 is 98.0 newtons. So now we set up the same exact equation as before in part A. So we sum up all the forces acting along the y-axis on our box. So that gives us the normal force plus the tension in the rope minus the force of gravity acting on our box is equal to zero. Our box is not moving. So we rearrange and solve for the normal force and we get that our normal force is equal to 20 times 9.8 minus 10 times 9.8, so 98 newtons. So in example B, in part B, our normal force is smaller because our tension in the rope is larger, because the mass of our object hanging at the other side is larger.